good morning YouTube. I hope you're having a good day today. Uh, Jeff and I, it could, I had a trying night and I'll show you why here in just a minute. We were in the house last night. This is a house that uh, the people vacated. And uh, Jeff was telling me, he retired from the city and he was telling me yesterday that uh, the guy that runs the water and sewer department offered him a job on that side. He worked on uh, parks and rec side of the city. That That's where he retired out of. And he said at one time the guy that is in charge of the water and the sewer offered him a job. And I told him yesterday, I said, when you see this house right here, you might want to, you might wish you'd taken that job. <laughs> or you might want to go back down there and tell them you've reconsidered working for me and you want that sewer job, you'd rather deal with poop than this. But anyway, uh, let's go in. Hmm. We got a TV left. For some unknown reason, I am notorious for getting, ugh, they won't even move getting these big screen TVs left for me. But you can see the junk. That's just uh, everywhere, medical supplies. I'm gonna call it medical company. Uh, get them to come pick this stuff up. And I figured they'd be glad to get it back. But we'll just start in with the junk here. Here. Just junk everywhere you turn and look. I guess they didn't ever use that. Just uh, we get a light switch. This is how they appreciate me. This is the kitchen. Just ramsacked. Nice kitchen. Nice cabinets. Dishwasher full, cabinets are full. Just, I mean, it's just, uh, we got a mess. Last night I was uh, really questioning myself, why am I doing this? Why am I letting people do me like this? Like Jeff said a while ago, every cabinet is just crammed full. That's an old sausage grinder. Go, it's part of the old sausage grinder. Oh yeah. found this in the cabinet it says an angel lives here now I thought the Bible said cleanliness is next to godliness I'm not sure about an angel hanging out in this filth just flies and bugs in the freezer look hamburger meat This is the way they left it. What well, you got there, Jim? Good old hot dog there, Dave. <laughs> Get out of there close. <laughs> you got penicillin on it. Man. <laughs> yeah. Woo! <laughs> hey, I want to gross you out a little bit. This refrigerator is full of roaches. We're gonna to have to take it to the car wash and try to wash it. All oh, that's roaches, roaches in this refrigerator. You can see the shelf busted. That one's gone. I don't know if I can get another shelf or not. They broke that. That one's broke. They, even that one's broke. I mean, they just basically, that's broke, destroyed the refrigerator. That was a brand spanking new refrigerator when they moved in. And you can tell what they did is they came in and just picked and choose what they wanted to take. And they left the rest. Mm -hmm. 
This is the second garbage disposal that they tore up. You can tell by looking at it, that one's pretty new. And don't work. So they tore that one up. They tore the one that the original one that was in here when they moved in, they tore it up. And I replaced it. I told them they owed me for it, but they wouldn't pay me. And then they tore the second one up. Man, I'm telling you, people, it's getting to where I'm questioning, can I be in the rental business? One of the guys stopped by. I don't know if you can see that wall wrinkled all up right there. He said that uh, it's an older fella that stopped by and he said they had knocked a big hole in right there and he patched it the best he could. You can tell where a hole was knocked in right there. Another hole knocked in the wall. Here, look at that. Just, I mean, destroyed everything. And this was such a nice little house when I turned it over to the uh, to the elderly lady. And uh, it wasn't her fault, it was her family. Just so much damage everywhere. Look at the wall there. They knocked a hole in the wall here and I guess tried to fix it. There. I mean, it's just filth. I mean, just, I mean, roaches everywhere. I don't see how they live like this. Lease estate, you know, houses are to be cleaned when they come back to me. I don't believe that's uh, what you call cleaned. The story of this is, I rented this to a uh, elderly lady sweet as she could be nice lady i always really liked her she and i got along great she had some family members that were well you see right here windows broke out of my door the elderly lady that lived here passed away and the family just you know she was in bad health and just, I mean, destroyed the house. The, the family did. Just, I mean. I never finished this upstairs out when I bought the house. I was just leaving it for storage. And look at this left for me it's like food stuff everywhere no wonder they had so many roaches hey little buddy i don't think i don't think you're gonna make it it's bad when the roaches and the mice can't live in here as much food as there was last night i was really having a soul searching moment a lot of talking to the Lord last night I believe he dipped snuff guess they tore the rack down broke it the lady that I rented the house to, sweet as she could be. And when I rented it to her, her family piled in here on her. And I always felt sorry for her. Um, always thought a lot of her. I let a lot of things slide that I shouldn't have let slide. But I did on account of her. And the lady passed away and I talked to the daughter. She assured me, you know, we're gonna clean the house up. We're gonna get everything out. They had a month to get everything out. They didn't get it out in a month. And they came in and picked out what they wanted. Put it that away. Just uh, pitiful. But I did a lot of talking to the Lord last night. And uh, asking the Lord to help me. Ceiling fan. Got one blade on it. Look at the... It's just dead flies and roaches and stuff up on the wall so anyway uh, this is what jeff and i's got ahead of us and um, you know i told him this morning we was riding down here it is what it is and uh, 
we just got to accept it and go on and do the best we can do. I was going to read you something I put on uh, my Facebook this morning that uh, just having some soul searching moments and uh, just about a lot of things. And, and I put this on my Facebook. I said, at this point, I could care less about who is president. Even before COVID, I was so over politics. I know that when I utter the words, Father in heaven, there's an ear that turns and a voice that assures me he's still on the throne. The Son is still sitting at His right hand and that the Holy Spirit is alive and working and living in me and has me sealed till the day of the Lord. I know who my King is. 2 Timothy 1.12 And so, um, in these situations like this with this house, I, uh, I rely a lot on the Lord. To help me through this i was telling jeff as we was riding down here i need to go through and figure up how much i spend in a month's time or in a year's time on dumping fees hauling people's junk off and uh, I, I feel sorry for the for the elderly lady that i actually rented this house to i felt sorry for her so guys this is what we got ahead of us this is where we're going to be for a little while um I do have another house that the people are moving out of that we're going to pull off of this project when they get out and go to that house and do whatever needs to be done to get it back on the market. And then I've got another house where I'm evicting the family. Uh, it's a couple, a man and a woman. I'm evicting them because they've just been uh, lying to me, uh, just dragging me along for months on paying and their rent and they're both working and they're just not paying their rent and they're living in a really nice expensive house of mine and so I'm in the process of evicting them and we'll go to that house and get it back on the market uh, but we'll be here a while I'm gonna have to uh, do some ex extensive work here so we'll have some more updates God bless all of you uh, check out my t-shirt God bless you Jesus died for you. I enjoy being with you, and we'll see you on another video.